Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and uh, welcome back to Let Code. So in our previous video, we learned um, how to run our test script in the Circle CI pipeline, right? But if you noticed, we have a failure. So if I go to the run test here, you can see like uh, the failures or else you can also go to this test tab. And here you can see like in the register user test case, we are getting fail and it's getting failed in both the Chromium as well as in Firefox. And of course we are running uh, with the help of projects so that means um cross browser testing okay so if i click on this register user you can see like here uh we are expecting the title to be register but it is login um that means the register is not registration is not completed and the error message is same for uh, both the browser okay but if i go to my uh, local code or the local workspace and if i say npm run test let's run that test alone so uh register user dot test i'm going to make it as like dot only now if i run this you can see like it's going to pass actually but there is a catch so in our music and code playwright series the that playlist uh playlist i have a uh, automated this website right so even there also if you have watched it you might notice that the click of the register button doesn't work actually we have to add the delay so for example if i go within this register user and here register button we are doing the click right but if i remove this delay and if i run this now it's going to fail actually So most of the scenarios we heard this right so our test will pass in the local but it is getting fail in the pipeline there might be multiple reasons for that depends on your application and the way you have written your code but in this case it's very interesting actually so i want to show you that okay so here you can see like register user uh, got failed and this is the exact same error message we got in the pipeline as well okay so why this is happening let us understand so it's uh, purely based on the application so i know like what is the exact error message here so let's go and see that okay so for example here let's go to the inspect let's go to the network tab and i'm going to clear everything uh, okay there is nothing actually yeah so let's focus on this username the first name last name it can be anything doesn't matter but the username should be always unique so here you can see like we are getting an error message like username is record which is uh, of course the form validation okay but here if i say like or uh, tony basically it is already registered so if it's registered already you can see like username is not available so we are getting the error message but what we have done in our script is like uh we are using this date dot now dot two string that means timestamp will be added um so each and every run the user is going to be unique so we are not expecting this to come at any cost that's not an issue the issue here is for example if i say like one two three four five seven eight this user number might be new okay and here we don't have any label field to validate okay what happened exactly is like whenever we type this data it take few seconds or few milliseconds to validate that for example let me refresh the page one more time let me clear all those let's focus on the username i'm going to give like or tony so here we know that this user is already there so here in the network tab you can see like uh here we have a api called validate user name so the website api slash user slash validate username which is going to return us the return uh, return us boolean true or false if the user is already there it will return us true if it's not there it will return us false for example uh, let me refresh the page one more time for you for me so here i'm going to say like uh, kaushik some spelling mistake and 154 if i click on this you can see like it take little time like few milliseconds i can say or less than a second okay so here it says like false that means the user is available now with this i can create a username let's go with another one so for example if i say like or tony um or tony is true so let's add some thing now here you can see like we are getting false 
so i hope you are able to understand now so the register click button right so click button will work if the response is false or the response is completed see here if i type the existing name we are able to see some kind of error message so based on this label we can just uh, like see if the label exists then we'll understand okay already the username is there but if it's going to be new user we we are not able to see any kind of um, um notification or some information right so usually if you go and sign up in github page you will see like there will be some check mark basically we will understand like okay this username is available for us but in this website there is nothing so how can we do deal this is basically with the help of network calls okay already we have learned the network call topic so i'm going to make it very quickly if you haven't watched that i will just leave the card probably you can see that okay so i'm going to focus on this particular guy so i'm here i'm going to say like um async enter user name and it's going to some username and that's it now let's create a function for this um uh, yeah okay this is the function but we don't want function we can probably just do it like async and here it should be await actually not async my bad okay and here i'm going to select this thought the do, 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 do and i'm going to move this within the page class okay so here we are going to enter the username now what we are going to do is you are going to remove this of course we're going to paste this yeah so this dot element dot username and the what are like username we're going to pass that is simple but what we are going to do uh, we are going to do the validation here okay so first of all you'll say like await and promise dot all basically we are just trying to call that api and we are going to check the status so if i go and inspect if i go to the network and if i give something like this then here we got the network call and in the header i can say like this the endpoint url okay so i'm going to copy this watch carefully this is my endpoint of course but this data is going to be dynamic okay like whatever the username we are going to pass we have to validate with that of course we can use like starts from but yeah it's we can do that okay so here i'm going to say like uh this dot page dot wait for response and i'm going to get the response object here and then i'm going to say return response dot status should be um 200 that is what we are getting so it's basically like a get call so if 200 okay and also i am interested on the url so here i'm going to say like response dot url equals this url okay now quickly i'm going to convert this into backticks and here i'm going to do the string interpolation so instead of this i'll just call my uh the variable which is username okay so that's it we are pretty much done now we have to wait until the request is finished okay so here we'll use the destructuring so let's say like const this guy is going to be my response object and here i'll say like await response to be finished okay so that's it pretty simple so we'll wait until the request is finished now based on this i'm just using the date timestamp here so i know it, it's going to be um, dynamic always but if you have to write test case for existing username scenario as well you can just validate uh, this label so if i have like this name particular name then of course i'm going to get the uh, this label and i can do the validation okay so i hope you are able to understand now uh, we have already removed this delay so if delay is not required now because until this finish it will we don't go to the next step so here we'll enter the username we'll do the validation and then we'll proceed with this so in this case the registration button click should work in the very first attempt now just to make sure i'm going to control j and i'm going to say like npm run test let's go and execute this this time of course it's going to pass in both the browser of course
okay so here you can select it take a little pause because that um this thing is ha happening actually okay so here you can select two test pass and it's awesome okay now we are going to run the same in uh, pipeline so i'm going to remove this guy called dot only and i'm going to commit my code all my code so register page yeah this the one guy this report not necessary i'm going to say like fixed restore bdn commit and you do the push now let's go to our pipeline Yeah, so it's running actually so let's go inside this it will take a minute to execute let's wait and see okay so i guess it's going to complete now running test and here you can select green dot that means all the test should pass let's go to the pipeline it's still running it should be done by now i guess uh, you can see one x over there and one got failure actually but the test um, that we fixed actually executed okay so if you go to this uh, run test uh, here you can see like paste dot go to slash navigate to home uh, timeout exception maybe the application went down uh, yeah it should pass but i hope you got the idea so i'm just going to rerun this one more time just to so if, if you it says success actually yeah uh, i forgot to tell you something okay so if you go to this playwright uh, um config file so here you can see like we have something like retries so for the local environment like this local machine it's zero but if the test is going to fail in the pipeline we have a like retry one so that's the reason if you go to our um all this test uh, the status is success okay because of course we have a failure but what happened here is if you go to the run test run test here also you can see pass and here also you can see fail but if you expand this result here you can see something like one flaky and uh, nine passed like in the sense like one test got failed but it got passed in the retry so that is why like all our tests got passed okay this site might be down for a while it happens sometimes i know so that is how the retry mechanism is really cool in playwright that is why i prefer typescript with playwright if you have to do the same in java oh boy you have to write a lot of code man which i don't like okay by the way a video on choosing playwright with java or typescript is coming soon so stay tuned and uh, i hope you got the idea it's just a very simple thing uh, of, again it's based on my application it might be different on your application but simple thing like this um, we can easily achieve with the playwright if i have to do the same with selenium 3 it's a hectic work and of course i have to use the thread dot sleep because web driver weight might not also work in this scenario if you have solution for selenium just do let me know i'll be happy to learn from you okay so and this detailed video i have already have a detailed video so if you didn't didn't understand this concept just watch that video okay so that's it for my side. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Very soon. Bye bye. Take care. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comments or in our Discord. Bye.